Hello guys, in our last lesson, we had a quick tour of the Visual Studio Code user interface. Now, there are lots of shortcuts and a lot of uh, changes that can be made to customize the UI, and we'll be looking at them as we progress in the course. What we're going to do in this section is to install extensions. These extensions will help make coding easier. The extensions we're going to install are going to help us see additional information about some methods or functions that exist when we're writing our program. So it's also going to help us with syntax highlighting and it's going to tell us sometimes where we have errors and the appropriate words, keywords to use. So to do that, let's go ahead and jump over to our sidebar. So in case your sidebar is hidden, just press Ctrl B to unhide your sidebar or you could just drag it like so and just drag your sidebar out. So next I'll jump to the extensions and I'll just type Python and make sure you have an active uh, internet connection and we're actually going to select the one from uh, Microsoft. So if you click on that, you can actually click on install. I have the uh, extension for Visual Studio Code installed already. You can actually see the rating. It actually has a very high uh, rating and you can just click on install. The next uh, extension we're going to install is PyLance. I'm going to click that as well. So you can just type in PyLance and search for PyLance. And here we have it as well. So you can actually install that as well. So it actually runs with Python and it actually uh, helps improve the performance of your code. So now that we've installed these extensions, let's go ahead and jump over here and begin our uh, lesson. So here, I'm just going to get rid of the uh, sidebar and jump over here. So we are actually on line one. And what I want to do is to create what is called a comment. A comment is going to allow you to easily understand what you're doing in your code and it helps your code become readable. Basically, anyone who picks up your code knows who wrote that code why you wrote that code and what you're doing in that program. It also helps you when you come back after a month, two months or years, when you get back to your code, you'll be able to understand your code. There are two comment styles or three comment styles in Python. We have the uh, pound sign and we're going to say, hello, this is a comment. Basically, anyway, you have a comment and you run your Python program, Python is going to ignore the comments as if it's not part of your code. So you can actually save this comment and run this comment. This is a single line comment. If you want to write multi-line comments, you use triple quotes. And in between those triple quotes, you can have your information. I can just say this code is written by um, tribe as an introduction to Python programming. So that's actually a way to uh, set up these uh, multi-line comments. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and create our first basic uh, classic hello world. We're going to use what is called a function and a function collects a group of statements to create, to display information on the console or on the screen. We're going to use the print and we can right click and right here, because we have the IntelliSense, the IntelliSense is telling us what the print function does. It's telling us that we can accept values here, parameters, and then we can print those parameters. Let's just say, uh, Hello world. So now that we have this, how do we run this? We're running it is simple and straightforward. First, we're going to save by pressing Control S and then right here where it says run, I'm going to click on run without debugging. And right here, we should actually see our results where it says hello world. So if this is up and running for you, Congratulations, you just wrote your first basic program that does nothing but print information to the screen. Now, what you can do for fun is to just to print your name. So I'm just gonna say Mahmood, Shoaib. 
and print my name on the screen. And there you have it. So in our next lesson, we're going to move on and discuss more on comments. And we're actually going to talk about variables, how we can create variables, what they are and why they are important in programming. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Thank you.